ingredients for this tasty recipe include 500 grams potatoes, carrots, cooking oil, one onion, frozen tomatoes, a pinch of turmeric, and a pinch of black pepper. Now we start the process. First of all, let us first start by peeling our 500 grams of potatoes. Using a peeler, carefully peel off the skin from each potato. Hold the potato as firmly in one hand and in the other, hold the peeler. Then glide the peeler down the potato surface over and over, turning the potato as you go on and on as you remove the skin make sure to get rid of any eyes or blemishes as well If you have not yet subscribed, I highly recommend you that you do so. Make sure that you also hit the notification bell to stay updated with all of Almasi's latest videos. By subscribing, you will never, and I mean never, miss out on any new content, exciting recipes, or helpful tips. Your support means a lot to us and helps us continue creating great videos for you to enjoy. Don't miss out. So, this is your time. Subscribe and turn on notifications. Now that the potatoes are peeled, let's look at another ingredient. Yeah, the carrots. We can all we can turn our attention to the carrots, five to be exact. Now, with the pillar still at hand, we can remove the skins, hold each carrot as firmly, and glide the pillar down its surface, rotating as needed to peel all sides as evenly. Once peeled, rinse the carrots under cold water and of course running to remove any residual dirt or any leftover skin. Also, before I forget, do not hesitate to let me know where exactly you're watching from. Leave us a comment below and I'll make sure, I will definitely make sure to give you a shout out in the next video. I mean, your support really means a lot to us and I would love to acknowledge all our amazing viewers.
from all over the world so drop a comment and stay tuned for our special mention Both the potatoes and the carrots are now ready. What's left? Oh, the onion. Let's work. Let's work on that. Start by cutting off the top and the root ends of the onion. Peel away the outer layer of the skin, and then cut the onion in half, from top all the way to the bottom. Lay each flat on the cutting board and slice, dice, or you can chop accordingly. As preferred, with the onion as bread, all the vegetables, all the vegetables are now ready. the potatoes peeled now we can rinse them under cold and running water to remove any dirt or skin that is left behind next place the peeled potatoes on a cutting board using a sharp knife cut each potato into uniform pieces you can as well cut them into cubes slices or whatever shape suits you but as for me i'll use cubes because we all know that uniform pieces ensure that they're even cooking now that we are boiling the potatoes transfer the cut pieces into a large pot and cover them with cold water of course you can add a pinch of salt to the water to enhance the flavor place the pot over the stove and over medium heat medium high that will bring the water to a boil once boiling reduce the heat to a simmer and cook the potatoes until they are as tender when pierced with a fork which usually takes around 10 to around 15 minutes as they continue to boil you can add the onions followed by the tomato frozen tomato of course obviously by now it's already lit but that's not the point also drop in a few drops of cooking oil and just cover for about 5 to 10 minutes here the carrot will be set for the last because we not only want our soup to be tasty but carrot crunch mm. afterwards we can unlaid our pot and add the carrots followed by an extra cup of water since it is soup that we are making. We can follow up by the spices and stir. Cover and let it simmer for another two minutes before seeing our final product.
and there you have it the aroma mm. how sweet this dish will be thank you